Good evening. Welcome to Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia. I'm Kevin Barger, the Director of Music Ministry. This is our Music Minute, where we're taking a look at the hymns we'll be using in worship tomorrow, the seventh Sunday of Easter. And we'll start with our gathering hymn, that's Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. And again, we're still in Easter, still in those days. Uh, so this hymn was written in 1866. Its original title was Redemption by the Precious Blood. So very different than uh, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. Uh, it, was a, it was in order to supply a need for post-communion hymns. Uh, it's really a combination of Easter, communion, and ascension, if you look closely at the words. The tune is a Welsh tune that I think you'll recognize. Uh, we sing it quite frequently to many different texts. Uh, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling is probably the most common one that you'll recognize that. So, Alleluia, sing to Jesus. the two? Uh, I bet you might have. Next, we'll move to our uh, hymn of the day. <clears throat> that is, I Come With Joy. This was written by Brian Wren, and he wrote it in 1968, so uh, nearly a century later than the last one we did. And for the, it was, he was writing it for the church that he was serving in England. And it was intended to sum up a series of sermons on the meaning of communion. He revised it in 1977, and that was at a prompt from an American hymnal committee. They were looking for that. It was revised again in 1995, and that's the current version that we'll be singing now. Uh, this leads to Christ's real presence in the faith community and in the communion meal. So pay, pay particular close attention to those words as we sing them tomorrow. I come with joy.
Next, we'll look at our communion hymn. That is a new one for us, coming from All Creation Sings. This is called Come Holy Spirit Descend, sort of a precursor for Pentecost almost. Um, this is rare that our hymnody um, prays with longing for the Holy Spirit to have fire of judgment or to disturb us. And those are words that we will sing in this tomorrow. Um, it's equally appropriate, according to John Bill, the author and composer of this piece, that the spirit that we pray for is equally disturbing and comforting. Uh, singers are reminded that the Holy Spirit is less tame than we might think. And so this hymn is very simple. I think you'll be easy, easily able to pick it up. Uh, we could use it as a paperless refrain kind of thing. Uh, it just has a different word phrase that changes each time. Come Holy Spirit, descend. that'll be repeatable uh, with our different phrases of come Holy Spirit, come breath of heaven, come word of mercy, come fire of judgment, come great creator, come to unite us, come to disturb us, come to inspire us. Last but not least, our sending hymn will be crown him with many crowns. And this is really a combination of more than one hymn. Uh, there were two versions of this that were kind of meshed together, if you will, a smash up. And the tune is called Diademata, and this was written to go with this text. Um, this is actually Greek for crown. And the tune is aligned to the 18th century. So crown him with many crowns.
you might have picked up on the extra little hymn that was thrown in there, a little snippet. So thanks for joining me this evening and running through these hymns for our seventh Sunday of Easter. We will look forward to next week being Pentecost. So we'll start the Pentecost and then the Holy Trinity and then start the big long green season. So uh, tomorrow, if you're coming in person, that will be at 8.30 and 11, and our 11 o'clock service will be live streamed on our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining. We'll look forward to being together again next week. Have a good evening.